the Heartland, y'all. It's Square Peg, and we're going to talk about Kentucky. <laughs> One of my favorite lines from movies is, um, whatever the name of that movie is, it's really hard to remember for some reason. <laughs> That's probably not what you should name your movie. Just saying. You know, like something hard to remember. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Tom Cruise, he says, oh, so you're an American. And the guy answers, no, sir, I'm from Kentucky. <laughs> That's right. That is right. So anyway, we're going to move on. So what I found in Kentucky, the word Kentucky, there's Ken, like Barbie and. And there's Kent, Ohio, four dead in Ohio. There's Tuck, as in the Tucker, and I made a video about all of the Tuckers. And then there's KY, the post office abbreviation for Kentucky is KY, which brings in the gel, the jelly, jelly stone. Yeah. So, I thought all of that was really interesting out of the name of a state, you know? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Explains why Kentucky is in the headlines. Because all of these things get lumped in together, whether they're related at all, aside from, like, sounding alike, you know? Like, that seems like a weird way to associate, like, events. You feel like they should, the events themselves should be related. But no, <laughs> it's... It could be merely because the place is rhyme. It's that ridiculous, yes. <laughs> I'm just, just synthesizing this all myself, so I'm still getting over the ridiculousness of it. Pardon me. So I noticed the other day when I was reading through a list of headlines, and they were all right next to each other, boom, boom, boom. There was um, Buckingham or something like that. This was not the whole name, right? And then Zuckerberg. There's more to the Zuck, too. And then Duckworth, Tammy Duckworth. So these were all longer words, but they contained buck, duck, and zuck. And then, of course, we're talking about tuck, and then what you do with this stuff here, you know, that rhymes too. <laughs> Sometimes people associate this guy with that word too. <laughs> Just saying. So Mitch McConnell, I did not realize, he is the representative from Kentucky, and he's got the M.M., Right? So there's Mickey Mouse and all the other M's, M&M, etc. And I have underlined here, like, he's got a lot of doubles going on, right? He's got four sets of doubles. Four times two is eight. So he's got the two C's and the two N's, the two L's right next to each other, and then the two words start with M. I just found that interesting. And I wanted, I wrote here, Mac the Knife, and I didn't look up the song just now, but I have been noticing a lot of mix and max. And I was kind of pondering what that was about. A big one was Allison Mac, was arrested, I think it was 2018. And that's, the other one's, you know, just not very exciting or like big bad headlines. But that headline was really interesting because it, it's like a, a sex cult and it's got, Roman numerals, but one of them's an N, so I don't think N is a Roman numeral, but it's just got a really weird name, and it definitely stood out to me, and I, and I liked her in Buffy, and I was very surprised to find that out. I mean, I guess not very surprised, but saddened and surprised, yeah. But there's a lot of mix and max, right? And I just yesterday came across a video, I don't know, scrolled by it, and... Apparently, it's even coming out more in the news now than those of us who are into the research of things we've known for a minute about McDonald's and what may or may not be in uh, the burgers, you know? Well, this was on, like, a more mainstreamy kind of a stream. And I thought, oh, wow, this is starting to come out to a bigger audience now, and maybe we're looking at the demise of McDonald's. And I haven't looked at McDonald's at all, so it would be interesting to do that. If I could find a spare moment to do so, I will. But I'm just pointing out that I'm noticing all these Mix and Max, and so anybody who's got like a Mick or a Mac in their name at all, a place name, a person's name, they're, you know, like, they're in the spotlight right now. I'm going to say, like, we're going to see something about them in the headlines. So I wanted to know what's up with Kentucky because they had this train crash recently on 1122. <clears throat> and then I found out that Mitch McConnell, with his two podium freezing incidences this year, they were five weeks apart exactly. Interesting, 35 days, right? So I thought, okay, well, this is a, like a double Kentucky kind of a thing, right? 
I didn't realize at first that he was from Kentucky. So what's going on with the numbers? Let's take a look. The first podium freezing was 726 and the second one was 830. There's 35 days between them. And if I add another 35 days on there, it comes to 10-4. 10-4, good buddy, that was the emergency broadcast alert that went out to test the system or whatever. And it was that night, I believe, that all those birds crashed into the McCormick, McCormick Place Lake Center building in Chicago the very next day, well, overnight. So, gee, I don't know, maybe the emergency broadcast alert had something to do with that? Just saying. So, I thought that was interesting. It's not Kentucky, though, right? And then if you add another 35 days on, it comes to 11-8, and I'm pretty sure that that is the day that there was multiple things that happened in Texas. There was the Cooper had to shut down their company, like processing checks or something like that, mortgage, something to do with mortgages. And that was like over the weekend, and there was a big hubbub about that. There was an earthquake, and there was a fire at a factory. And I've, and I've just recently seen there was another sort of a, a chemical fire in Texas, but this is not a video about Texas, so moving on. Uh, I just noted that these 35-day increments are falling on notable dates for other places in the center of the United States, where we might say, like, that fault area is lined up with, right? Yeah. So... Then, where did I come up with this number? I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, got my bearings again. So then I multiplied this 35 by pi, and it comes to 110 days, and I added that onto the second podium freezing, because this is 35 is the distance between them, right? I just added it onto the, to the second one, and that comes to 1218, you know what I didn't do was add 35 days to this 11.8, but we can do that in our head, right? So 12.8 would be 30 days, because November is 30 days long. And then you add another 5 on there, and you come to 12.13. So 12.13 and 12.18 are 5 days apart. So both of these maths are pointing to the same week in time in the middle of December next week, two weeks, something like that. So I would not be surprised to find out if Mitch McConnell himself or Kentucky is in the news again. Let's look out here, because what I did was take the first time he had his podium freezing incident this year, and I added the number of days to the train crash. Well, wouldn't you know it, it was 119 days. That's kind of... Coinky dinkle, what a crazy coinky dinkle number that is. 119 showing up everywhere. So I added that 119 on again to the day of the train crash. So this is just straight isometrics, 119 days on either side of that train crash. And it comes to March 20th next year. So I'm going to say this is a bigger sort of event where it's going to encompass maybe the representative, whether it's Mitch McConnell or not. I would, I don't know, he just seems so frail. <laughs> I don't know how much longer he's going to hold out. Like, I did his isometrics, and it put it out, like, years, and I was like, I don't think he's going to make it that long. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's old. So this is uh, probably a bigger date. It's going to have, like, some sort of a um, bigger incident that involves more people than just one guy, and perhaps also the governor or government, some agent of Kentucky. Yeah? Out here. Now, this is pushing when we're probably going to see something that's going to involve a whole bunch more people, too. Because dates are sort of coalescing. You know, they're all starting to point at the same couple of weeks in time next spring. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're not going to see necessarily a separate, like, Kentucky-specific incident, but that it just is wrapped up in a much bigger event. Yeah. Still working on all that, and we still have a few months out, so I just wanted to get this out there because we do have this coming up this month, and I might not get to it anytime before then, so I wanted to get it out there to the people, especially all y'all in Kentucky. So, thanks. Hope you're having a great day.